Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very happy that both Dutch climate activists as well as international socialists have come together to stand up for Indian farmers whose livelihoods are under severe attack by their own government. A government that prioritizes private interests and the billionaire class over working people and specifically farmers, farmers who form the backbone of the Indian economy and the world food supply. More than 100,000 farmers have been striking since last year, November. They're striking to protest a new set of laws that destroys government protection. It destroys their right to minimum fr prices and gives way to free market terror. This new set of laws has been crafted specifically to serve India's billionaire class and make the rich even richer. Specifically, the shareholders of Adani and Ambani, and this new set of laws has been called a death warrant by the farmers. Without, these, without their price protection, it will make the farmers extremely vulnerable to big money interests. Thousands of Indian farmers have been striking and they've been on the streets since November last year, demanding that the new laws are repealed by Mr. Modi, that their political prisoners are released and a decentralized system of agricultural governance is implemented. The farmers are also bravely protesting today during the annual Republic Day parade in Delhi. Today, they're bravely marching towards the parliament in Delhi, demanding Mr. Modi repeal his criminal laws at once. Thus far, the protesters have been met with tear gas, batons, and overall excessive police violence. At least one protester has already died today when his tractor overturned as police fired tear gas. Unfortunately, he's not the only casualty of state inside violence. Over the course of the last months, more than 120 farmers have already laid down their lives at the hands of police violence, incited by the right-wing government of Mr. Modi. You see, friends, it is very important that we stand in solidarity with Indian farmers today. Not only are they victim of neoliberal policies, they are also on the front lines of the climate crisis, as the climate they face is exceedingly unpredictable and dry, rendering crop failure a huge risk and inciting mass suicides across the farmer population. In the words of Andana Shiva, if governments won't solve the hunger, health, climate, and democracy crisis, the people will.